And y'all, y'all go, y'all deserve some discipline for what y'all did to the alien group because they really ate down. They really ate down. And Preston, you need, I'm just sorry. We're going to have to fight. You and your jock strap come out here. We're going to have to fight because the aliens deserve to win. Busy in here, get busy in here. Yeah, my squad run deep. Yeah, we really in here. I swear, whatever you want, you can get it in here. Comedy or the drama, it's a mixture in here. But you love it in here. Yeah, you love it in here. Got reviews up in here. We got stories in here. Hit the like, hit the sub, hit the bell. Oh, yeah. Three clicks like the shoes on Dorothy in here. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Busy Blue, and I am back with a recap and a review. Y'all feel like Forrest rocks a little bit. <laughs> Y'all, um, I'm doing childcare for my friend all week, so I'm going to be doing these a little odd for the next couple of days. And it's childcare, meaning that I have to bring her to school and pick her up from school and I'll be watching her for a week. So, um, in the morning it was like an hour and a half just to get her to school. So I said, look, when I get to the office, then I'll do that because I'm in the office an hour earlier than I normally would be. So y'all. Let me just uh, do this recap and review. Um, today I'm recapping and reviewing um, season two. Uh, my Martha Stewart, Martha Stewart, Summer House, Martha's Vineyard, season two, episode five. So let's get to it. This is how Forest Rocks be doing hers, and now I feel like Forest Rocks. Y'all watch, y'all watch It's Rocks. Um, let me, I'm sure she would have her notes already pulled up, but let, let's get into it. So we start off where we left off with. Um, uh jasmine she crying she says she she's over bria i mean she 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 has a lot of she's dealing with and she's sorry that she has to be you know acting like this but she just she does she's not you know she's not in her best space right now she has so much that she's that's going on with her and she just needs people to just give her a little bit more time child was i the only one who was annoyed when bria kept saying yep yeah, i understand you can feel that way okay yeah no yeah sure yeah sure and it's just like girl let the let the lady talk. Give it a rest, okay? So that she kept doing that. Jasmine says, "Look, she got a lot going on. Simon is deployed. She's pregnant. She's not sure how long he's gonna be there. If he's gonna be there for longer, he could stay. She and she's worried about all of these things. And then here's Bria. Well, I just feel like I was disrespected numerous times in different ways, and I don't feel comfortable. That's all I was saying." Y'all heard what Jasmine was like, okay, yeah, sure, all right, mm-hmm, right. Preston was like, well, what What would have happened if everybody else said something? They started talking about Phil, and Bria was like, look, I had your back when it came to Phil. I validated your feelings. I heard what you were saying, and even Jasmine did say, that's true. You did have his back. You did. Um You did have his back, and they validate how he was feeling about stuff, Um, but... Bria was like, yeah, but nobody wants to give me that credit. Every time I say something, nobody wants to give me that credit. And Preston's like, if you don't calm down, little girl. Look, girl, nobody's scared of you. Stop trying to act like you're the big bad wolf. You're really seriously not. Nobody's checking for you like that. Um, calm your voice down. So then Nick, he's getting embarrassed because he's like, calm down. You guys are embarrassing yourself. You're making yourself look crazy. Bria, I don't care. I don't care. Seriously, I do not care if I if I look crazy. I, it's not, it doesn't matter. It's not bothering me. So then... After that, you know, a man and them come back with shots and they just take the shots and then they decide, like, look, we're just going to take these shots and we're going to leave. Child, it was a mess. Some people are uh, drunk. Some people sleeping. Everybody angry. Everybody's mad. Everybody's just over everybody. They feel like no one is understanding why everybody got an attitude. Everybody mad. Everybody pissed. Okay. Um, so as they're arguing in the car, um, Bri is feeling like no one has her back. No one ever has her back. She always got to. My problem with her is that. She she's like a little chihuahua at times. Like sometimes she be having the right ideas, and sometimes it's like okay, she is right at what she's saying. I guess it's what people don't like about me. It's the delivery. Like it's the delivery, and sometimes it's just it's just not coming out good, mama. So anyway, um, after that, um, they get back to the house. Everybody go to the house. When I tell you, Milo was turned up. Milo needs to go. Milo was tearing that house up, tears you up. He got on the counter. I wish my doors would. Milo was getting on her dresser, pulling stuff down. Y'all saw how did she come inside the house uh, and um uh she's she's going upstairs and she he's like um and Nick was like, Oh Milo's crying for you. She's like, I don't care, call me a whole slap roster, whatever. And I'm thinking, what? What are you, what is she talking about? 
Um, so she gets up into the room and she's like, who did all of this stuff? Who did it? Only It's only one person who could have done it, Milo. So after that, we get Jasmine and Shanice. Jasmine just feels like um, she wanted to apologize to Shanice. About, it's something about Shanice and Summer always in the bathroom, but I'm going to leave it alone. Jasmine said she wanted to apologize to Shanice because she felt like, look, I did play a big role after um, Alex I called her out of that table. I did. Jasmine's like, I did play a big role, girl. I did bring up all your information. I was the one who talked about it. Nobody wanted to talk about it. So I do want to apologize to you for bringing it up. And she starts crying again. She's like, it's just, there's just so much going on. And I lost my job and now I'm looking for another job. And it's just, it just, it was a lot of stress. And she's like, I get it. And I apologize for that. Then you got Bria, Summer, and Nick talking. And Nick tells Bria, he's like, look, um, why were you yelling at me? And she's like, well, I thought you said something crazy. Uh, what? All I said was that Milo's crying for you. And she's like, I thought you said something about calling me a hoe or something like that. <laughs> okay. Well, how did you get that? And, but the thing is, no lie. Now, going back to what she was saying when she was walking upstairs. Sorry, I think I got a spider in here. Walking back to when she was going upstairs. I think she really did think that. Like, how she got that, I will never, the world may never know. But I think she really did think that. Because to her going upstairs, call me a drag queen, ho, whatever. And, you know, you don't catch it at first until later when she's like, I thought you called, at least she's telling the truth, I thought you called me a ho or said some ho up there or something like that. No, girl, hey, where'd you get, girl, okay, whatever. So, <laughs> Summer comes in. She's like, I just want to let you know, Bria, that you are one of the smartest and the kindest and the whatever. Girl, why, why do you? You lying, sis. You're lying, sis. So they start doing that. Nick says, look, why y'all start doing y'all little love fest? I'm about to leave. And then Bria's like, no. You, I don't care what y'all say. As much as I don't like the girl at all, at all times, she made this episode. <laughs> She made this episode for me. No, because you're always missing. You sit your raggedy ass down. You're always, because you're always missing out on a lot of the stuff that's happening. And he's like, well, that's because y'all upstairs and then we downstairs in the basement. And she's like, well, then, <laughs> she's like, well, then come upstairs. Come hang out in my room. Sleep with me. Take a, take a nap with me. <laughs> you sleep. You sleep. <laughs> Sleep with me. Take a nap with me. Come upstairs. Sleep with me. You want to take a nap? You want to sleep? <laughs> what is this? What like? What, but what is it? But what is this? <laughs> the man who was just told like you get a little hamsy grabby. She was like, oh, you don't know what a sleep support is. You don't know what a sleep. You never heard of that. And she's like, what are you talking about? So everybody's talking about sleep support. Jasmine brings up professional cuddlers. And I was like, where are we going with this? And Nick, you better not take the bait. Okay. Anyway, we move from there. We get to the next day. You got um, Shanice and Bria talking about what happened last night. She's like, I'm so sorry about what's going on. And Bria was like, yeah, well, did you talk to Alex? How do you feel about him? And, you know, are you still mad? And Alex is standing right there. Uh, and apparently in a clip that we weren't able to see, it looks like Shanice, you know, she had another outbreak um, and outburst. And she was talking to Alex and she said that her, her mother hates him. And she's sorry for saying that stuff out loud. I don't care. Um, we get a part where Jasmine tells, um, Bria that, look, just out of respect for you, um, Mariah is here and she is going to be coming. Okay. But she's going to be at another building, but don't think you run nothing cause she ain't going to be, but she, she is going to be at the event. And I think if she said, and correct me in the comments, if I'm wrong, I feel like she said Mariah was the one who was out there when she was getting deported and all that stuff. So she going to protect those friends because those are the ones who are really showing allegiance. And as she's going through all of this stuff, she ain't going to turn her back on her because of who, uh, Bria girl by. Um, so then they all get up and they leave to go play basketball. Shanice and Alex, they seem to have be good basketball players before, so, um, or they played it before, so that's what they're doing. What is that? It's another stink bug. I don't know how these stink bugs be getting in my car. Y'all see it crawling in the back? I wonder how they get inside, because this is the second one today. Like, literally, it's the second one today. Hold on, y'all, because I'm about to get it. No animals were harmed in the making of this uh this video. 
Mm. Now I'm really giving y'all Forest Rocks teas. Um, so back from there, um, Nick, uh, he couldn't play basketball. Nick was more like me. He couldn't play basketball at all. Okay. Um, and, uh, I, I'm tall. I'm 6'3", as you probably could see now that I got out of the car. Um, but I can't play basketball. Don't throw no balls and buy me. Okay. Um, but I think I would have been more like Bree and Preston sitting down. Go team, go, go blue shirt, go red shirt. Um, so they decided to talk. Preston be so wishy-washy to me. I'm sorry, but he was like, look, um, I'm sorry for talking to you the way that I talked to you yesterday. You know, I just felt, um, I had a feeling about you, uh, um, inviting Phil and not saying anything, but you know, she's like, well, I just think that you two should definitely have a conversation. Maybe even if it's over FaceTime, he's like, okay, I guess I'll do that for you. Cause you know, I really love you. I really like you. I really, I'm down for you. I think you're a brat, but sometimes, you know, I get you. And it's just like, you can't, I don't know about having it both ways because sometimes it seems like she just really annoys him and really frustrates him. And then at the same time, it's like, oh, but I love you. the I mean, I guess sometimes the people that you love the most, they can annoy you the most. So anyway, after that, I thought Noelle was pregnant. She was playing basketball. She went and threw up. This was a bad basketball game. We see that Shanice hurt herself. Noelle's throwing up. I thought she was pregnant. Just real crazy, right? After that, they all decided that they about to head to the club. Child, I don't, Milo didn't bring his, uh, <laughs> Milo did not bring his, um, ID so he could not get in the club and he had to hate from outside the club. So Bria was like, Well, I'm not gonna go because Shanice was like, Well, you want me to take you home? It was it Shanice? It was summer. You want me to take you home? She's like, No, it's okay, I'll just sit in the car. So we get another scene of her talking to her man and she says that um she thinks that Simon's anxiety is up because she's not around. And because I we, we haven't seen him calling her, so is it his anxiety that's up? But she's like, well, he's just, he misses me because I cook for him and I clean for him. And now I'm not able to do those things because we haven't seen each other. That's crazy. I'll tell you, y'all, Bria made this episode for me. I looked at that scene like this. Girl, what are you talking about? His anxiety's up because, you know, we haven't been able to see each other. And, you know, I cook for him. I clean for him. And, I, you know, I wash the stuff. And Okay. Okay. Then we get to the next day, day eight. Shanice, she's still broken up. Um, Nick is cleaning and Amir is cooking. Uh, they're getting ready. They're going to have a cowboy breakfast. I guess that's potato and eggs and whatever. Because Amir is doing rodeo day. So, child, why they put uh, press the booty out there like that in that jock strap? I mean, more power to you. And then, so, and then this is also a thing. And I guess I did. So, I don't have the, I don't know why I'm asking this question. Because I guess I did do this at one point in time. Y'all know the people who just be wearing jock strap just regularly. I think I went through a, fa through a phase where I did that for maybe like two months. But it's just not all that. And I need a little, I need a lot more room. So I don't know. But you, y'all just walking around just with Jock Strap on regularly. Just like, it's just, I don't get, I don't know. I don't know. Y'all put it in the comments. It, you know, y'all be just walking around with y'all Jock Straps. Um, <clears throat> um, Phil got dressed and he decided not in his well I don't know if he was wearing a jock strap at the time but uh, he decided that he wanted to go talk to Phil and Phil said look because um, um, Preston was saying look if I'm gonna expect people to change I gotta hear them out to make sure the change happens this is how I feel about people as well you know you you have to give time for things to change and then you also have to be open to see that the thing has possibly changed and there's a lot of people who get upset or angry or frustrated with people and then they don't give them room for growth they don't give them room for growth and if you even if you're not going to be friends you can at least be like you know what they really have come a long way you know so it was big of him to do that and he said so he got on the phone with phil who still look fine to me and he was like look I just want to apologize for all of the stuff that I said to you. I was drunk. That's no excuse. But there was just a lot going on. And I know I did too much. And I'm, I just want to apologize to you um, for all of that. And um, I know it's not an excuse, but I'm sorry. And if you could tell the other guys, you know, that I'm sorry as well, that would really be really helpful to me. And he said, you know what? I could definitely do that. Um, and I appreciate you for taking responsibility. But Preston's whole thing is, you know, being called a sissy or a suspect or 
being um, told that you're zesty and you need to man up, it, it, it's really something that plagues um, or continues um, this homophobic um, language and these homophobic feelings um, in our community. So it's something that he hears all the time and he don't want anybody else to say it like that. Um, I could be wrong, but I didn't think that Phil gave all of that. Um, that's just my opinion. And unless I'm missing something, I don't remember. Now he was a nasty, rude person, but all of the stuff that I, I'm, I was hearing from, pre I don't, I did, I don't remember Phil giving all that. I just don't remember. Um, but he said that Phil said, well, since we apologize, I want to let y'all know that I'm a real comedian and it hurt my feelings when y'all didn't think that, um, um, it hurt my feelings when y'all didn't think that I was a real comedian. Um, <laughs> so that hurt my feelings. And he's like, well, did you even make any money off of it? He said, yeah, I did, but not that much. But that, that was something y'all said to me. So y'all need to apologize to me. After that, we get them at the ranch. It was a very happy go lucky scene. It was very cute. They said they learned how to ride a horse. Um, I thought it was cool. I want to go horseback riding. Never been horseback riding before. I would love to go. Um, it's just something I've always wanted to do. Um, Amir said where he comes from in Texas is either football or horseback riding. He always chose the horseback ride. Okay. <laughs> yes, God. Um, I think it was Summer who said that she knows how to ride stallions. Y'all so dead ridiculous. And Jasmine, she said she didn't want to ride. But it's like, girl, because you're pregnant. No, I just didn't want to. Girl, you're pregnant. You missing out on half the events. Um, so they all look like they were having fun. Jordan said she was an English writer. She never did Western. I don't know anything about that. Then they played uh, games. They looked like a lot of them were fun. They were bobbing for apples. And I, yo, when we were little, we used to put our same mouth in that speedy water with other kids. That's so nasty, yo. But we used to. We really seriously used to. That's disgusting. And then they head back. Jasmine says she got a special guest. Child, here goes Bria. If, if, if this is Mariah, yo, Jasmine's the ops, okay? She already upset. Don't even know who the surprise is. Child, not her beefing with a baby. <laughs> Not, not Bria beefing with a baby. Uh, did we get back to the house? Um, Milo still, he pooping all over the place, causing issues as always. I don't like that boy. That boy, that dog. Okay, just don't like him. Then we get a scene of Amir and his girlfriend. I don't like her. Don't know her. She seemed to have an attitude problem. And for some reason, that seems acceptable to Amir because he's like, well, she doesn't like to tell me what's wrong with her. She wants me to, get, that's, that's so immature. That is so immature. She wants me to guess what's wrong with her. She wants to, you know, it's it's on her mind. She doesn't really tell me. I have to figure. That's unhealthy and that's ghetto. It's unhealthy and it's ghetto. And, and she has to go. After that, you get um, a um, scene of the girls um, sitting at the pool. And you got Bria who asked Summer, you know, did you guys talk about what was going on? I, I think it was just really weird that, you know, you guys were hanging out. Why didn't you just say, hey, um... You know, I slept with Alex or whatever. And then Summer was like, um, it wasn't a problem. Uh, I, I didn't know it was a problem that I didn't tell Noel because Noel hadn't um, even met Alex before. So I didn't think that she would be upset about not like not meeting him. And Bria's like, yeah, right, right, right. And Noel's like, oh, huh, excuse me. And Bria's like, well, I'm just trying to give conversational cues. Don't you, don't, uh, don't, oh, please don't try to get... Uh, Oh my God, go! And so then I was like, "Look, yes, I maybe I'm mean, not." Oh, no, well, she, um, Summer's like, "Well, maybe I should, oh, maybe I should have just said something. I should have said, yeah, he jerked my mouth, and yeah, he came on me, and I should have just said something. I'm sorry, I'm the f the one, okay? That's it." And she gets up, she storms off. One drama, drama, and then two. What we are so tired of hearing about how this man was and stuffing you, and how many times you make him come. Nah, I'm tired of hearing it. I'm tired of it. We get it. We get it. I don't want to hear that no more. I don't want to hear it no more. So, um, she gets up, she leaves, and um, she storms into her room. So, it's, it's just very weird. So, then Noelle comes up, and she's like, well, what's going on? I think that that's very weird. And Jasmine's like, well, maybe it's probably... She goes past Jasmine. Jasmine's like, what's happening? She's like, well, we were talking outside about the whole Alex situation, and she got up and stormed off. And Jasmine said, well, maybe... Um, She's just feeling like you guys are ganging up on her. You're attacking her. And that's getting tiring. Amir comes in. He annoyed me, to be honest. Um, after that, Noel and Summer talked. She says, look, 
I don't know how many times I'm going to have to apologize to get over this. And I feel like um, Bria was trying to throw it on her face. She came in, Ra Ra. You see how she was trying to say, um, you know, you see how she was already coming at me. She came in with that type of attitude. So I'm tired of being thrown against the wall and all this stuff. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to just keep being attacked for who I had sex with, um, which makes sense. Then we get to dinner. The, the special uh, guest is the baby. Everybody knew that the baby was coming because of her boobs and how she was acting, what she was and wasn't doing, except for Amir. But Amir is clueless and he also dates people who make them guess whether or not they're upset or how they're feeling. So didn't it made sense to me. Um, I did get a, another glimpse of Jasmine and feeling, understanding her feeling like what's really weird is having to have a baby. Your man is deployed. You know, you have a partner, but your partner's not actually physically here and you're trying to wrestle with how it's going to be trying to become a mother and be a baby. I mean, and, and have a baby and how difficult that must be and the fear that must come with it. So I, I, I actually did love that. Then we get to Apollo night. They all show off their talents. I, shout out to the aliens. Shout out to the aliens. They choreographed that. They sang it together. They look good together. I like the alien group. Okay, that was Noel, Shanice, and Summer. I, they, they were my favorite, hands down. Then Jordan and Nick performed together. They, um, I don't know what it was supposed to be together. Um, but Nick did look good. Okay, I wish I could wear a crop top, but I, I want to make sure that I have abs for a crop top and not just because I'm skinny. Um, Jasmine rapped. She sounded all right. Alex sung. Okay, was giving a little bit of. Okay, we get you. Bria, she did flips and tricks with Milo. <laughs> and Amir, he did poetry. But then he won. And I, I really think that the aliens should have won. Shout out to the aliens. They really deserve that. And y'all, y'all go. Y'all deserve some discipline for what y'all did to the alien group because they really ate down. They really ate down. And Preston, you need, I'm just sorry. We're going to have to fight. You and your jock strap, come out here. We're going to have to fight because the aliens deserve to win. I don't know how y'all feel about everything that happened during this episode. Wasn't Bria the comedic relief of the whole episode? She could get on your nerves, but this episode, she really gave it to me. And I really love that. Um, y'all, tell me how y'all felt about this episode. It was real fun, cute, and flirty. Sorry about the chaos of this video. If you all want to know more about me and everything else I have going on, you can find me on Instagram and on Twitter, Busy Blue, no space, no E. You can also find me on Twitch, Busy Blue, where this is not going to be streaming right now. I'll also be doing the Whether You Like It or Not panel. Um, I think this week we are going to be on Simply Sakina's channel, so check us out tonight. With that being said, I'm about to go get busy, and you all stay busy. Uh, till next time.